lovelies welcome back to my channel so yeah i know i've been gone for a while and um that was just i was just going through some personal things that i don't really want to talk about on here so um yeah i decided to come on here and just do like a quick little makeup video for you guys and um show you some new things that i had got and so yeah so if you're ready just come on with me and let's get right into the video okay so first off i'm going to be doing my brows and um i'm going to be using this this is ardell brow defining kit it has like a highlighter color a light brown a dark brown and then like a deep deep brown right here so i'm going to be using this deep brown um, the darkest brown in the palette because my eyebrows are really dark um, They're just really thin. So that's why I You know fill them in a little bit So um, I'm just going to use like a little eyebrow Thing to brush out my brows really quick I'm gonna get a little mirror here so that it's a little bit easier for me so I'm just going to be using a little mirror and um, I got some new brushes this I think this is I forgot where these came from I think they're Luxie brushes I'm not sure but this is a 489 angled brush so it's perfect for your eyebrows so um, and I did switch to powder because working with powder is a little bit easier than the pomade I think for me it is. So I'm just going to do my regular brow routine. It also makes, I think it makes your brows look a little bit more, um, look more natural, you know. I'm also going with a little bit of black because sometimes the brown isn't dark enough as how I would like it. So I go in with a little bit of black mixed in with the brown and I'll just um, fill it in that way. And there's some black in this eyeshadow palette if you're wondering what color I'm using. See, it just looks like natural. It don't look like as harsh. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the other brow. fade underneath there all right now i'm going to use my the same concealer as i used in my other video for my brows i'm going to use this concealer right here it's by mac it is in the color nw45 and i'm just going to use this to um outline my brows I can't find my concealer brush. Okay, 
Okay. I'm just gonna use an angled brush. This ain't the right brush, but I can't find it anywhere. Oh, I found it. All right. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go in and I'm going to carve out my brows here. Okay, I know they're probably two different sizes, but that's okay, that's okay. I'm just going to blend this out here with my finger. See, I like how they look done but they're natural. Okay, brows is done. Oh, I need to blend that in a little bit more. That's okay. All right, so brows is done. I'm just gonna take my uh, Brow This Way Brow Setter, set my brows really quick so they don't go nowhere. If you see me looking towards this way, it's because my mirror is right here. So, um, yeah, sorry about that. Now I'm going to, um, this, I'm going to use this CoverGirl concealer, um, by Queen. Uh, what color is this in? No, it's in. Um, this is in the shade Golden. I'm just going to prime my eyelids with this. My beauty blender is kind of dirty, but don't judge me, okay? We all got dirty beauty blenders up in here. So I'm just going to blend that out. This got like yellow undertones in this concealer. I don't have yellow undertones, but that's okay because it's getting covered up by some satin and powder, which I got some more of because I was running low, running low. So it's just this HD satin powder and I'm just going to, I'm gonna take, where's that one brush? I'm gonna take this brush right here and I'm just gonna I want to do kind of like a fall color, so I think I got something in mind. 
I always like to do this and pat my eyes to make sure there's no um, like sticky areas on my eyes so that whenever I go to put the eyeshadow in, it's not like, have like sticky areas, if that makes sense. So, I'm gonna use this same palette. Um, this is the Violet Voss Essentials palette. And I got this in BoxyCharm. Um, but when it came, it was actually, there was a color that was broken out of it. Like the eyeshadow was cracked. So it kind of made a mess in here in this palette. So um, yeah, whenever I show you, don't laugh at me, but you know. It is what it is, it came like that. So I was gonna send it back, but then I was like, eh, he's got some cute colors in it. I don't wanna send it back, honestly. <laughs> so yeah. So yeah, the green, it was the green one that, um, that was cracked, but all the other colors in it are good. It's just a little bit dirty, but you know, it's okay. So my first color that I'm gonna go in with is this orange color right here. This orange. That one. That's in the color terracotta. Terracotta. So uh, I'm just gonna use one of my brushes here. I'm gonna use this um, Luxie 250 Large Eye Blending Brush. So, um, I'm gonna use this as like a transition shade. I love orange colors, like I love orange colors. So I'm just gonna put that as my transition right here. I meant to put some tape on my eyes, but I don't think I'm gonna put no tape on there. Y'all see how pretty that orange is? Like, yes, I'm living for it. I love oranges. Yeah, so I'm just gonna put some orange. Have my transition. So, make sure I put enough orange because I really want the orange to pop. Orange is definitely a fall color. So I do want that orange to pop my transition, so. I do want the orange to show. Okay, I think that's enough orange. So now that I got my orange, uh, what other brush I wanna go in with? I'm gonna go in with this, um, just like a little, little whatever, little whatever eyeshadow brush. That's what it's called, little whatever eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna go in with this color right here, and that's in the shade Cinnamon. That's the name of the color in the shade cinnamon. I'm just gonna kind of deepen that orange up with this color. Now I'm gonna take this brush right here and I'm gonna go back in with the orange and kinda go back over it and get rid of them harsh lines that I created. Now that I have that, I'm going to take some, um, I'm gonna take some of that concealer that I used I'm just gonna place some on like the back of my hand right here. 
Um, I'm gonna take my same concealer brush that I used for my eyebrows and I'm gonna kind of carve out my lid just a little bit. So I just did like a small little carve out. And uh, the color that I'm gonna put on my lid, I'm gonna go in with this Wet n Wild palette. And I'm gonna go in with, uh, I'm just gonna use this, this shade right here, this one, and put that on my lid. So I'm gonna go in with this, um, this little brush right here, it's a 402 brush that I got in Boxy Try. I'm just gonna put that all over my lid of where I just cut that crease. Actually, change of plans. I'm gonna go in with this um, plumberry shade right here. And I'm gonna place that on my lid. Now I'm just gonna take a color of cinnamon and that black shade, kinda go on my outer V a little bit. Okay, so I just blended the outer V with a little black and brown, put some purple on my lid, the plum berry, kind of like a shimmery color. Now I'm gonna go in with this color right here and the color cream. I'm gonna put that in my inner corner and on my brow bone. Oh yes. Is that eyebrow more arched than that one? Oh gosh. 
My eyebrows need to be waxed badly. The eyebrow is definitely more arched than that one. Oh, oh well. We just go and do what it do. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to go in with some eyeliner. I'm going to use this eyeliner right here. This is the Longwear Liquid Eyeliner uh, by Hank and Henry. So yeah, I'm going to use this eyeliner right here. So, my camera wasn't recording the whole time that I did my little wink here. So, I'm just going to pick up like nothing ever happened because I'm a little upset about that. So, I'm just going to put this in my NYX uh, Mineral Stick Foundation in the color Rich. And um, I'm just going to put it everywhere, you know, forehead, bam, bam. So, yeah. I didn't really do much. I just added the wing and that's it. That's all I didn't record. But um, I'm just going to take my, uh, I'm gonna add a little bit of more of this and with the foundation only because it's gonna make it glowy. So I'm gonna add this to it. I'm just gonna take um, another beauty blender here and I'm just going to stick foundation you use a blendy but okay this ain't gonna work these earrings <laughs> ain't gonna work and this one's not wanting to come out okay so you have to really blend it in whenever you use stick foundations and a beauty blender i usually do a brush but Make sure you blend it into the neck as well. Okay, I know it looks kind of not my color on camera, but it is, I promise you. So I'm just gonna go in with, uh, I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Fit Me uh, concealer in the color Caramel. So I'm just gonna highlight. I think I added a little bit too much concealer, but you know, that's okay. Yeah, I added a little bit too much <laughs> concealer, but that's okay. Cause we gonna blend, honey, we gonna blend. And hope for the best, okay? Hope for the best.
take some setting powder and a cap right here. I'm just gonna set all the places that I highlighted. I'm gonna use this Luxie um, 510 brush. Actually, no. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this brush right here. This is a I don't know, whatever brush. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take it and I'm going to um just make sure I set where my eyes was. I like to push, press it in and then swoop it off. Okay, so I know I probably look weird right now. I'm just gonna take my bigger brush and I'm gonna set the rest of my face really quick. Just like to make sure everything is good and set. Um, I'm gonna go in with, you already know, my cover effects palette is kind of dirty now, but you know, it's okay. I'm gonna go in with this palette right here. I'm just going to contour. <laughs> Do I look snatched? <laughs> okay. Let me stop. Let me stop. Alright. Let me go in here and just snatch my nose real quick. You feel me? Because I got a little button nose. And I've been wanting to. <laughs> Now that I got that, I was gonna put on some lashes, but I think I'm just gonna do some regular smegular eyeshadow. Not eyeshadow. Actually, now I'm gonna put on some lashes for y'all. I'm gonna put on these 3D lashes that I got from the hair store for $2. So I'm gonna add some mascara on first. Okay, so now that I got that, um, actually I think I'm gonna put on my highlighter first.
I've been liking putting highlighter on my forehead too. But I'm liking how it looks. I don't know. It's weird. I'm just been liking how it looks. So yeah. So it gives you like a little like a shine, you know? Alright, um I'm gonna wipe this off my lips as well. Okay. Um yeah. So what else? I think I really don't wanna do lashes, I'm just being lazy. So yeah. Um let me go with my lip gloss. We can do lashes next time. It's just, uh, I'm not with it today with the lashes and the glue and uh, you feel me? All right, let me go get my lip gloss. I'm back with my lip gloss. This is my little express lip gloss, you know. Make my lips be popping. And that is basically it. Um, yeah, that's all I really wanted to do. I would have added lashes, but honestly, I just really don't feel like putting on lashes. So, I put on mascara though. Mascara. Let me get a little closer in so you can see. I also got a new phone. So, I know the quality look a lot a lot better than before so yeah let me know how you guys like this look kind of keep it kind of fallish you know all right well it looks like this is the end of this video comment down below make sure you leave a like turn on your notifications and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye